This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the world to the world. One by one, like well-trained soldiers, they fall in for parade. Tramps, tankers, big and little merchantmen. They drop anchor, waiting for the word to march. Instructions flash from the escorting warship, and the captain and other officers of each ship take note of their orders for the voyage. The crew parade for lifeboat drill. There might be a stray torpedo. Anti-aircraft guns are manned. There may be enemy bombers. And then a score of engines throb and turn over. The convoys moving out into the North Sea. Every ship keeps a keen lookout. And there's a lookout man in the sky too. The Royal Air Force on the hunt for U-boats. carrying home goods for export, and these ships will bring back to Britain grain and ore and foodstuffs and timber and wood pulp, and all the raw materials needed for men and machines when a nation is at war, guarded by the vigilance of the Royal Navy. In the wireless cabin, Sparks is on the job. He gets a warning of enemy aircraft but they heard no more of it on this trip. They're too well guarded, these ships of an empire's trade. On the way, they passed the wreck of a Danish merchantman. Even a neutral is fair game to a Nazi. <laughs> Nazi propaganda still boasts occasionally that Germany is mistress of the seas. You never guess it. <laughs> 